community, it is still PS2 mm -hmm. as king. And we've got a Jersey player and a player who is very new to New York, normally, right, Chicago. So we're not really watching New York Smash Bros. right now. Still, you know, they're still learning the customs. You know, the laws of the land beneath your feet. You must share your culture with the foreigners. When in when in Rome, you go to small battlefield. You know, I, would, I respect Hayes taking a really big hit from whatever that was and then a really big drink from a really big drink. <laughs> yeah. That man, that man is turning it up to 11 before the game one even she starts. He is primed for gaming right now. Peak gaming energy for <laughs> sure. All right, and we can already see the banana putting in work for Hayes as it just, you know, creates this extra layer of pressure for Kirby at the ledge as he tries to find his way through. And I love the way that Hayes is dropping down, down underneath these pigmentos, knowing that the upwards arc of them means that if I approach from low, I have to burn my double jump, and if I get called out on that, I die. But otherwise, it goes underneath all of these pigment tosses. Kirby, as a player, has told me himself, he play, his biggest problem is he plays too safe. Right? He is the player who doesn't hit the, the optimal punishes, he doesn't take risks. And so a player like Hayes and a character like Diddy Kong that are capable of blowing you up extremely early, he excel against a player like Kirby509 because he is sometimes just a little oh too scared. God. But that was, that was like three whole loops. <laughs> He, he was doing the donuts. He still found... That was the projectile with, think, like, three full seconds of startup in it. That's, that's the first time that I think we can ever say the word loop-de-loop -loop in Smash Bros. and <laughs> not be talking about Meta Knight. All right, but Kirby right now with the double purple and blue combo online right now. Absol an absolutely fantastic Pikmin combination. We're going to be seeing pick, uh, you know, purple up smashes as well as all sorts of follow-ups from the blue th uh, throwing. And there we saw uh, that grab that now led to this advantage. They come out of a aid between the Pikmin and one of Diddy's moves with the amount of hit lag that Olimar got put in because of the F smash meant that that we saw Hayes able to find the grab for his troubles. This game, though, dead even in Kirby liking the large stage space, though, as is Diddy, right? He is capable of sitting there, flip kicking to the other side of the stage, but not needing to at the moment because he is just going to sit back, say, hey, I have the lead. But honestly, the way Kirby's playing, maybe not for much longer, and force the approach, but now this game dead even. And there has to be a scrap app, right? And we're gonna see it. He's gonna pounce. That's gonna be his stock. His punish game always been his strongest suit. And now with the patience, it makes this man as unpredictable as they come. Yeah, in a very unfortunate situation for Kirby, as he only had the one purple Pikmin on hand, so he was doing a lot of empty, you know, empty Pikmin aerials and just put him in that whip lag that allowed Hayes to find that second stock. But Kirby gonna be finding that second stock with another Olimar up smash. Yeah, the quick draw on the up smash there was beautiful for him. And I love the way Kirby is prioritizing in the Pikmin he's latching here, right? Okay, through the yellow out because of the additional hit stun, but also because he knew it would die, putting him down to two, which meant that he would be always be able to find the purple up smash when he wants it. Now he has a blue on deck for the potential long range grabs. That's a kill throw we now have to be aware of for this last dodge. White for the damage, but he's just gonna toss that one away. Hey, and now the purple to keep these edge guards going. Beautiful Pikmin management here from Kirby509. When he needs it most in a double purple lineup, as you get closer to kill percent, this is exactly what he wants. Yeah, and we're starting to see he's kind of get caught, you know, by a little bit of his own medicine. The winged Pikmin coming out from Kirby509 just kind of shades of, uh, you know, Diddy Kong monkey flipping to the other side of the stage. Just a really great tool for Kirby to just reset to neutral. And now one of the purples is gone, but it was the unflowered one. Un However, Pikmin have health, right? The degra the degrades when they get hit. So that second purple was weakened. It lost off all its health at the last possible hit, and now Kirby left without any purples trying to close out this game. He's got the blue, so grabs on deck. Purple to pressure the edge guard. He's got banana. This could have been it, but he looked. He didn't look for the grab. He played it too safe, and that was the game right there for us. Absolutely. Just didn't really want to commit to finding the tech roll, but the barrels exploding is going to be Hayes taking game one. And just like you were saying, Ritual, it was that one key moment where the game was in front of Kirby, and he didn't reach out to grab it.
Listen, you just gotta reach out and grab what's in front of you sometimes, right? You want it, you gotta take it. And Kirby, just a little bit too anxious to do so, allowed Hayes an explosive victory in game number one. Getting into game two, though, oh, we're not gonna see any changes, I would imagine. And, and we might see a smaller stage, but likely not if it's gonna be Kirby making the counter pick. Hayes is, Hayes is hovering over some characters on the stage select screen, though. What do you think is going through his head? Uh, it's just Diddy Kong. I, I don't know about the youngling. Listen, who knows? Maybe he wants to become Ultimate's very own actor. Maybe. I mean, we did see Hayes pulling out the Rob earlier, so he might be seeing another roulette of characters if Hayes takes this uh, this game too. I, I like I like the early yellow there, trying to find a way and take some stage control, because every time yellow pummels, it has the electric property, which means it's putting you in more in more hit stuff. On right, it's got that multiplier, so it gives Kirby more time to get in eight stage space. He's using these yellows early on to really control space and control the pace of Diddy's game plan and really shut down the movement of this very movement-based character. Mm-hmm. All right. Kirby able to use those Wing Pinkman once again to reset to the other side of the stage, refresh those resources. He didn't have any Pikmin online, but once again, the purples are out. And now the red, the latch pummel at the perfect time puts Hayes in just the tiniest amount of hit stun, and that's what Kirby confirmed off of. He's playing like a genius to start off this game too, playing a lot more. He's full sending it a lot more, and it's working out for him. The question is, can he continue this momentum? All right, a little bit of a cheeky recovery there, going up under the stage, trying to find an up smash there at the ledge, but Hayes not biting. We might be seeing it again, but I think Kirby, you know, doing a little bit of a mix-up, you know, showing the underneath the stage recovery and then kind of fainting it once again, not quite finding it. Monkey flip kick coming, just burning right through the purple Pikmin. And now the Vol gonna get called out by the up smash. That could have been the stop, but Olimar with the purple in tow, gonna survive the first one, not the second one, though. And Hayes with the Miss Banana Pull, get that little bit of a shrug in there. It's a little bit of a tongue, keep the spirits high. I Kirby having all the Pikmin out at the worst possible time, not able to find a punish for it in that scrap situation. And now Hayes able to dance away for free, not once, not twice, but three times. Now, Hayes, all of a sudden, Kirby just can't pin him down. And it feels like the momentum he started this game off with has just fully stopped in his tracks. Yeah, and Kirby trying to plant his feet, trying to get, trying to find Hayes as he's on the approach, but he's just, like you were saying, he's just so difficult to pin down. That being said, though, uh, Kirby with a little bit of a percent lead now. All right, getting the banana there at the ledge. As Hayes tries to set up that ledge sen scenario once more. White Pikmin gonna be putting on quite a bit of chip damage as Kirby takes his time making it back into center stage. And now the jab just to pummel reset. You've got two purples, one's flower. That means it's going to do even more damage than the other one. Un, un, and the un the unflowered one is going to be the one that tank the barrels as well. Perfect situation for Kirby. He gets to carry the flowered one at full hit points back into this next stock. And even though Hayes has clawed this lead back, it's not even yet. This is the perfect opportunity for Kirby to continue, find some extra credit, even if he has to throw those purples away to make it back. And I love the way that Kirby just grabbed the banana and then just started throwing Pikmin. You know, banana is such a pivotal tool in Diddy Kong's move set. So if you're able to take that away and, you know, pl just play with your special moves, you know, characters like Olimar, like Samus, you're sitting pretty against Diddy Beautiful Kong. Beautiful snipe there from Hayes, recognizing the fact that the Pikmin flutter was stale. So it wasn't gonna last as long. Read that it wouldn't last much beyond the edge of the platform, and with Diddy reaching up on that last hit of the up smash, was able to close out this dock. This is a no jump, but Hayes is able to make it back onto the ledge, but gets caught by the up smash. Yeah, he got caught jump. It looked like dropping off ledge there, trying to do some double jump option. In from the corner and instead just got scooped by the purple Pikmin on the up smash. Hayes racking on the damage, trying to set up for a down air there, but not able to find it. And all of a sudden it has to deal with double purple white with a Olimar having banana in hand. That's gonna be a lot of damage and now a lot of kill power left in the tank for Kirby. 
I'm pretty sure we're gonna be seeing a 1-1 game three here. However, with Kirby off in the corner, anything's possible. Yeah, kind of a haphazard banana toss, but it doesn't matter as Kirby is able to find the back air, catch Hayes jumping out of shield, and we are moving on to game three, 1-1. And that was the moment more than any other that really sealed the game for me. Was, like, obviously it's at the end and it literally does seal the game, but it was Hayes trying to swing off full sending without banana in hand. He didn't try to set up and pick the next interaction. He played it, made a very risky decision that Kirby was gonna go low. Even though Kirby hasn't shown that low recovery to same ledge once all set, he tried to read him on his get out of jail free option and just picked wrong. Right, Kirby has done a really good job mixing up his timing on this around the world recovery eh? such that he doesn't know what he's gonna do when he just goes to ledge like a normal person. <laughs> right, he doesn't know if he's gonna go high or low because he hasn't done either so far. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we are coming back onto PS2 as Hayes's counterpick and we are seeing the Rob. Your little cheeky smile from Hayes. Beep boop, buddy. Beep, boop, Funny indeed. Rob moments. Yeah, Kirby having to readjust to Rob, a character I know he does not like playing very much. But he's definitely not something, you know, I'm sure he's not enjoying it that much. But hey, it's Smash Bros, so we're all playing a video game, right? We're still here to have fun. Um, these Pikmin are getting cut through left and right. I'm, I don't know what Rob had installed on his rotor arms, but I think it might be a lawnmower the way he's cutting these down so far. I mean, we saw him as in the, uh, the brawl cutscene. Olimar was trying to take down the Rob with the Pikmin, just wasn't quite working. Listen, man, then Captain Falcon did the job uh, for Yeah. Him. <laughs> Maybe that's oh my the secret. God. The, high, the high chase from Kirby with the wing Pikmin, trying to take Hayes off the top. And Hayes just having a, a time trying to put his feet back on the ground. And having a time trying to get that optimal DI. Definitely did not lock it well, in yeah. there with it killing that early. Kirby with the intentional mistag there to try and mix the time and get out of dodge was able to s stem the bleeding but not stop it as eventually Hayes is the one to deal the mortal wound. wound an even game here here, here as we fight through this second stop off course. The pressure is on and it's gonna be Kirby with the first opening but not able to capitalize a good DI mix up from Hayes. What can he make happen? Let's see right now getting that white Pikmin damage online. That's so much chip damage already 93% on Hayes. And it doesn't even feel like he's lost that many interactions, and but a fantastic parry coming out from Kirby to find that up And smash. it was a parry he had more time to set up because the move had to last longer because it hit the red Pikmin. And, but neutral air can't kill red Pikmin because it's a fire property mm -hmm. move. And so red Pikmin immune to it. Kirby with a beautiful knowledge of the intricacies of each Pikmin attribute and has been abusing them to find some additional openings on Hayes here. Yeah, it's not something you think about very often in this matchup is, uh, you know, the Pikmin doing more than just giving you chip damage. It's almost like a full debuff of, you know, a lot of your stuff is just now slower. Yeah, I'm also, I'm gonna be honest, uh, unless something miraculous happens, I think we're seeing the Diddy Kong in game four. <laughs> Yeah, this this Rob is is uh, is definitely bleeding. It, it, it's good. I'm not gonna say it's not. Like it's finding openings. It's, it's just getting a little too aggress aggressive. The patience that we're seeing from Hayes with a Diddy Kong isn't as apparent with the Rob. He's just full sending these combos, these aggressive attempts, right? These openings. You're not seeing him go for down tilts. Oh, to see if he gets a trip or not, for example, right? Great poke tools against a character like Olimar. He's running in with these dash attacks. Acts. He's running in with four or there. Error. And it's just not allowing him in, in the time to breathe, to reset, and to control space against Olimar the way Rob actually has potential to between gyro, between laser, even rotor arm on a bad day. And we're on PS2. We've got Diddy Kong and Olimar. It's either the wrong character or the wrong stage. I'm gonna assume it's the wrong stage, but... We've been on PS2 the whole set. Where could we be going? I'm not actually sure. So, Hayes's counter... This is... Okay, oh, no, we it are is, going PS2. It is PS2, so is it the wrong character? Is it, the, is it really the color? I mean, it could be. It could be the color. Oh. 
Okay, I guess it was controller. controller? I, mm, maybe. The same we character did... in the same stage. Yeah, we did see the New controller color. disconnect. Is New it? color? Yeah, it was default Diddy. Oh, oh I see. White Diddy. Blonde Diddy. I'll buy not Kong. All right, so anyway, coming back onto PS2 for Game 4, just like you were saying, Ritual, we are coming back to the Diddy Kong. The Rob just wasn't quite getting the, you know, getting that patience, getting that poke-style gameplay that you would expect from a Rob. Kirby being a little cheeky here. I don't know if you noticed, but he was not playing Green Olimar the entire set. Now he's playing Green Olimar, that green backdrop. <laughs> blending in to PS2, making it a little harder for Hayes to see him. He is pulling out every trick in the book to try and seal this out to the one. Just, just that little bit, you know, shades of, you know, Game & Watch taking you to Lilac Cruise back in the day. Or just Game & Watch uh, picking the gray option in Ultimate because you can't see when he spot out. God! Ooh, a little bit of a scramble situation there with the banana, but Kirby able to make it out, bring us back to neutral. Double Pikmin online, but it's Hayes who's able to find that first opening. And having to throw them away just to get back, one's going to go off the side, the other's going to get punched in the face. Not the way I'd want my Pikmin to go. That's her, her, her. Brutal. Yeah. Execution, but speaking of uh, execution. I was going to say, Kirby put that Pikmin to, the head, to his head and pulled the trigger. <laughs> Executioner style, holy cow. Brutal. And Hayes kind of fumbling a little bit, uh, trying to get the Pikmin off of him with the up tilts, but un unfortunately whiffing. And you took 75 for that interaction. He took 70. Th that was mostly one combo, two linked together once again by the latched yellow, adding extra hit stun from its lashes. Beautiful, beautiful stuff by Kirby. Again, abusing that to the fullest. It's all in the Pikmin. I feel like you see people abuse the least with Olimar, and Kirby has really made it his all-star in this set. At having one online here again, let's see what he can make happen with it hit here on his second stock force. All right, trying to catch the banana coming down from the sky, but just not quite finding it. That little bit more of hits done now. Yellow Latch is offline, though. And Kirby actually able to successfully pressure Hayes' shield, even with the banana online, just keeping himself safe. And now Kirby is the one, or was the one who had the banana. And I will say, I do love the way that Hayes has been playing around Kirby's own banana counterplay. We haven't seen too much crazy stuff with the banana, and Hayes has been able to re-grab re -grab it off the shield every time. And any combination that has these two Pikmin in it is what I like to call murderers, bro. <laughs> When you have blue, right, you gotta respect the grab. When you got purple, you gotta respect everything else. Whether it's the red, the yellow, a white if you're just outside kill range, or a second purple, a second blue, it doesn't matter, right? That's the murderer's row of Pikmin. And Kirby, though, having them not not able to find the stock off of it and gonna have to make do with what he's got at 170, trying to pin him down this increasingly elusive chimpanzee. He, he needs to close this one out and fast. He needs to get time to reset, pick his lineup a little bit if he wants to make his way a, a two losers finals, avoid a game number five. Hayes desperately trying to stem the bleeding and, and has every opportunity to force one here. This one's getting out of hand for Kirby 509. Yeah, already 91% off stage. No Pikmin to speak of. Kirby all alone in this world, but finally getting it back online. But the barrels once again just barely clipping the corner of the platform and Hayes able to squeeze his way into a game they five. Were, they certainly were barely able to connect there. And, all right. uh, you know, Kirby with the poor DI who definitely went barreling into the blast zone. All right. I'm here all day, folks. We're, we're having a Thankfully, barrel blast back here. We're, <laughs> we're having a barrel of laughs. Well, actually, well, you, yeah, they have some barrel, barrel of laughs. You know what I wonder? I wonder if he's drinking some Baja Blast. <laughs> and you could see Kirby expected the platform to shield him there, but just mm -hmm. wasn't able to do so. That explosion is absolutely ginormous. The exact opposite of Olimar, who, remember, was so small they had to make him larger yeah. to fit in Smash Bros. He he is the he's size like of a he's only the size of like a quarter and he still got hit by that barrel explosion. There is n no safe place for this Olimar, unfortunately. But maybe that safe place could be Battlefield as we have Kirby's counter pick there, there for game one, five. There is one safe place for Olimar. It's Smash Bros. Smash Bros. is a safe place for everybody. It's, it's, a, it's a safe place for people of all ages. They, and shapes and sizes. That's true. 
and colors and everything else. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop going with this bit now as the double <laughs> yellow is online. And even though those colors contrast, their effects certainly do not. Kirby is is purple and yellowing his way to 104% early on here on Hayes. But once again, playing it very safe, he has not been able to pin down Hayes on... Is this the first stage counter pick we've seen so far in the set? I think it may be. I think... Well, no, we we have seen small battlefield yep, no, as you're opposed right, you're to right, we PS2. Alright, purple Pikmin online, double purple as well. Kirby is going to be looking for this kill real soon, but Hay is able to set up those resources with the banana peel. I would argue that if Kirby gets to 100% before he takes his stock, it's already, it's already not good for him. Right? Yeah. Hayes, he, he was, Hayes was at 100 when Kirby was at 20. He's already taken 60% struggling to find the stock, playing it very safe. And now here he is, past 100. Exactly that scenario we're talking about. Potential for him now to lose the first stock. He has had Hayes at kill percent forever. He just hasn't been able to close it out. Yeah, Kirby just hasn't been able to get the momentum back into That's his it. favor after such a fantastic performance in the first stock. It's actually going to be Hayes who draws first blood and that's one step closer to finding himself in loser's finals. Interesting choice there from Kirby. It looked like maybe he threw the blue a little too early because throwing away Murderer's Row like that now, having it back online here, you've got the blue. Red not going to kill yet here on Battlefield. A little bit of a higher top blast zone for you uh, to hold you on for your struggles. That banana on top platform just taking it away completely. Hayes has done a beautiful job using the banana not to extend combos, but to just control space, knowing how integral that can be to take away from Olimar. And a fantastic extension there from Hayes, just continuing on this extra credit, really securing his path to Loser's Finals, but Kirby not going down without a fight. And just a reminder that Kirby basically took 200% on answer card, mm -hmm. right, before taking that first stock, which is absolutely absurd. All of them are very capable of racking that back up, as we've seen time and time again. But how can Kirby slow the pace of this game down, not get caught out here, find a way, and find a way to close these stocks out? Because even if he gets past Hayes here, he has to play Tilde next. And Tilde is not going to give you those chances if you can't close these stocks out. Yeah, Tilde is absolutely not a player who's going to be giving up momentum for free. And it's going to be on Kirby right now to put, you know, put himself back into the driver's seat. And one, now he's not even able to find the Pikmin tosses, right? N the lashing isn't even going to do its mark. Hayes is content just taking the damage because he recognizes he has a stock opportunity on his hands. He doesn't want to give it up. However, Kirby's trying to use that to his advantage and just play tricky enough to get out of dodge. But stuck with a banana at his back, there was nowhere for him to run. He got boxed in the corner and now having to fight his way out. Two purples is in theory great, but it means his recovery is very limited. His movement tricks are too. And... I don't think he's going to make it back. Wow! Just barely he's going to be able to make it back. And Hayes tossing away the banana a little bit early means Kirby able to make his way off of that ledge relatively easily. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. After making that one back, I bet you Kirby's hands hurt a little bit because that man had a match like crazy. Yeah. All right, Kirby starting to get the percentages back into his favor, especially with this white latch on. That's so much damage. And now double purples as well. Not for long, no. not for long, because once again, Hayes with the perfect defense and coming in clutch. Now only a blue to help him find the stock. That's exactly what he wants. Found? That looks like an F smash to close it out. Beautiful stuff from Kirby when push came to shove. Keeping this game nice and even, but getting put in the blender for it. Put in the corner, too. Oop. Ooh, the white not gonna latch on, but he still has it. Unfortunately, gonna go away. He needs to find ways to deal this damage. There's only two minutes left on the clock. He can't slow down the stock as much as the last one. He's gonna time himself out. Yep, all right, getting the yellow latch on. Gonna be giving Kirby a lot of time, especially as Hayes pulls out the banana, but unfortunately, once again, not able to capitalize. He is gonna find his way back down to the main stage with the Pikmin whistle, but 
we are starting to see the percentages back into Kirby's favor. This is really anyone's game five ritual. This is the exact type of Smash Bros. you'd love to see, right? I And this is one of the things I miss about seeing more Olimar play compared to the beginning of Ultimate, is Olimar always makes for some incredibly intricate, interesting games that are now at an end as Hayes finds the back air just once again, full sending a commitment. But that time, it was Kirby finally taking a swing after being so patient the entire time. It was just at the worst situation. Yep, just stuck at the ledge, unfortunately trying to swing his way through. And instead, it's Hayes who finds the headshot with the back air, and he is going to be moving on to fight Tilde And in this losers. is such a crazy parry to me, that he finds us, right? Like, look at, look at this parry. E, e, e. He tosses the banana, gets the toss, us and right you see the purple pikmin coming in right mm -hmm. he's shielding underneath it all of a sudden the dash shield right so he's still sliding in kirby fast falls it and swings he's already at this point right dropping the shield is not a frame one option so if you watch here here he comes in he runs up with the tosses the banana to force the jump Runs in, dash shields, and is already ready for the parry. He's already, he dashes in. He's already released, but by the time Kirby is starting to swing. Mm -hmm. Waiting to find the layers. And reads it to then find the parry and pick the banana back up. Mm -hmm. Like, he finds the banana, he gets the kill, and get, just beautiful technical play from Hayes, recognizing that it's not always about hitting the banana. Right? Sometimes it's just about the resources that Banana forces you to expend. Mm -hmm. And those are the types of interactions.